Okay, we're now looking into the family room. Great room. Yeah, and it really is a great room. It's a gorgeous space, and it's big enough so that you can have a huge crowd here watching the Bears win the Super Bowl. <laughs> so this has a wood-burning fireplace with a gas start and an imported stone mantle from Bulgaria. Uh, French doors, oh, I started saying, the French doors go out to the backyard so you can grill. It's really conveniently located by the kitchen and the family room. I'm um, come over so we can get a look into the backyard. It's a huge backyard. So the family room is wired for speaker system. In fact, the whole house is wired for speakers in the living room, dining room, kitchen, family room, and master. And then there's Cat5 wiring throughout. Um, these are really beautiful, big windows. These are Colby and Colby, top of the line. And then you're looking into the casual eating space and the kitchen. And it really is a wonderful space because it's filled with light and everything's high end. But they've used beautiful cabinetry and stonework so that it looks like you know, a gracious older home. It's not too sleek and modern, but they've got all the modern appliances that you would expect in a new construction home. Um, you know, high-end stainless steel dishwasher. There's a six burner uh, cooktop. There is, there are two ovens actually. One right underneath the cooktop and then another built-in oven. There's a nice desk area, again, you know, where you could have the hub of the home with the calendars and the computer and everything else. Uh, one of the other nice things that they have is the built-in refrigerator freezer with the water and ice on the door. It's a great island right here, so it's perfect for entertaining or just casual cooking. What's also nice is the butler's pantry is right there so that when you've, you've got guests coming in for a dinner party, you can still serve things out there. That could be your bar area. And then this could be all your cooking space. And right beyond the butler's pantry is the mud room, which connects to the two-car attached garage. And that's a wonderful thing to have so that all of the, you know... Attached garage is not common in Oh, and Wilmette. No, it's hard to find a two-car attached garage, two-and-a-half car attached garage in Wilmette. Um, there are so many lots that are, you know, 50 by 175 or something so that you need a detached garage in order to really take advantage of that space. And this is on a pie-shaped lot on a cul-de-sac, a really nice, quiet cul-de-sac. So they were able to put in the two-and-a-half car attached garage. And the cul-de-sac is wonderful because there's a secret passage that takes you to the soccer fields and also gets you to the two middle schools, the junior high and high crest middle school. And actually there's a gate behind uh, this whole fenced yard is lovely and there's a gate we're, we're so that... Really just steps from the schools. Right, right. And the gate takes you to the school so you can go through that passageway too. So that's kind of a nice thing. You can walk to three different schools. So from kindergarten through eighth grade, you can walk to school. And the elementary school is Ramona Elementary School, the middle school is Highcrest, and the junior high is Wilmette Junior High. The family room, the, the home has a very, very, very open floor plan with a, just a great flow, hardwood floors. Yeah, beautiful hardwood floors. Again, um, you know, just incredible finishes, crown molding, floor molding. They've done a really nice job finishing out every doorway. These are custom eight foot doorways because these are 10 foot ceilings. Um, and they've used all the best finishes, um, the granite countertops, the tumbled marble backsplashes. Uh, these are custom cabinetry, birdcage hardware. So, and we going- We have experience building. Oh yes, Lynch Partners, they've done an incredible job with just gorgeous homes in Wilmette and they're well known for their high quality. One of the things that they do that's, you know, that you won't notice when you walk through the house or look at the pictures is what goes on behind the walls. And they like to use 2 by 6s um, versus 2 by 4s They still use some 2 by 4s but 2 by 6 means that the house is very solidly built. They use R19 
insulation and they also use a soundproofing insulation between the walls so that you don't hear any of the plumbing and you can't necessarily hear what's going on in the other room and that's a really nice feature um, both from a sound perspective but also when you heat a home like this especially with gas prices and electricity prices going up you really want to make sure that your home is well built.